got another story for you. It's called The Worriosaurus. It's by Rachel Bright and Chris Chatterton. It's all about a little dinosaur who's got lots of worries. Let's see if we can help him by the end of the story. The Worriosaurus. On a hot and sunny morning, under the lovely clear blue skies, a little Worriosaurus was opening his eyes. He brushed his pointy teeth and then washed his top and tail. He packed a little bag of snacks and set off on his trail. What's he taken to eat with him? He's got some biscuits, an apple and a sandwich. He skipped along with happy legs across the golden sand. He thought about the day that he had plotted, sketched and planned. Oh, look, his map's here. I wonder where he's going to go. A lovely yummy picnic, a delicious summer spread. Worriosaurus liked it when he knew what lay ahead. Can you see? Here's his cave. And he's drawn a map through the forest, over the bridge, through the mountains, all the way to a cool pool. How exciting. But he hadn't gotten very far, you see. It hadn't been that long before his busy head dreamed up all sorts of things that might go wrong. Had he made enough to eat? Had he bought enough to drink? This Worriosaurus often was a one to really overthink. What if I get lost, he thought, or I trip and have a fall? His happy legs were slowing down to a snuffly, shuffly crawl. Worriosaurus liked it when he felt he was prepared. Unexpected things happening, well, they made him feel quite scared. So when... There he is, look. Worriosaurus in the forest. All on his own. Suddenly, from nowhere, a lizard skittered, shouting in a squeaky yelp and pointing at the sky. I think a storm is coming. I've heard it's on its way. Well, that really put a cloud over Worriosaurus's day. Oh, dear. A storm, said Worriosaurus. When it's so dry and hot and sunny. But the news became a butterfly that fluttered in his tummy. I'm not ready for rain, he said. I haven't got my wellies. His teeth began to chatter and his knees, they turned to jelly. And all the while the sky was blue, the sun, it shone and shone. But now his lovely picnic thoughts were definitely all gone. Should he find shelter or run back home and hide? His little worry butterfly grew bigger and stronger inside. But then he thought 
thought of something that his mummy used to say. Oh, my little Warriosaurus, chase that butterfly away. Don't you worry, my lovely. You must not try to fret. If it's not a happy ending, then it hasn't ended yet. So he reached into his bag just then to find a little tin. It helped him with his worries. It had happy things within. A special stick, his teddy Ned, a pebble and a letter. And as he held them one by one, everything felt better. He's smiling now. Then he put away his tin and all the worries in his head freed the little butterfly for happy thoughts instead. I'll just stand tall and I can be strong. I'll chase my fears away. All is good and all is well and everything's okay. And with those little wordlings, he calmed his busy brain. Since when the sun is shining, why worry it will rain? So he shared his little picnic with the lizard in the sun and they laughed and laughed at all their worrying and really had some fun. Since when you're in the moment, there's no need to run and hide. And then only the butterflies will be the ones outside. Look at all the pretty butterflies. Lots of lovely colours. I hope you enjoyed that story. I did. See you soon.